John von Neumann is a real hero, actually, of not just me, but many people, I think, computer science and, uh, and, and physics. He was an incredible intellect um, who probably solved a lot of the problems that we're working on today and just forgot to write them down. <laughs> Yeah, um, and um, I'm not sure if it's John von Neumann or Johnny, as I think his friends called him, but it's, um, I, I think he was Hungarian mathematician. Came to the US and um, basically got was involved in the Manhattan Project and developing computation, and um, came up with all sorts of ideas. And I think it was one of the first people to come come up with cellular automata. And but oh, he really, I didn't know this little fact. I think so, I think so, and I think well, anyway, I mean, if he didn't come up with it. He probably did come up with it and didn't write it down. There was a couple of people who did it at the same time, and then Conway obviously took it on, and then Wolfram yeah. Yeah. loves CAs. There is his fabric of the universe. And what I think he imagined was that he wasn't satisfied, and th th this may be incorrect recollection, but this is, so a lot of what I say is going to be kind of, you know, just okay. way out of my... Uh, you're, Lee, you're just part of the universe... <laughs> Um, creating its memory, designing exactly, yeah, yeah. yeah. rewriting yeah. history, rewriting history. exactly <laughs> imperfectly. So, but what I mean is, I think he he would he liked this idea of thinking about um, how could a Turing machine literally build itself without a Turing machine, right? It's like literally how did state machines emerge? And I think that von Neumann constructors he was wanted to conceive of a minimal thing, autonomous, or, or, or that could build itself. And what would those rules look like in the world? And that's what a von Neumann kind of constructor looked like. Like it's a minimal hypothetical object that could build itself, self-replicate. And um, and I'm really fascinated by that because I think that um, although it's probably not exactly what happened, um, it's a nice model because as chemists, if we could go back to the origin of life and think about what is a minimal machine that can get structured randomly, so like with no prime mover, with no, with no architect, and it assembles through just existence. So random stuff bumping in together, and you make this first molecule. So you have molecule A, and molecule A um, interacts with another random molecule B, and they get together, and they realize by working together they can make more of themselves. But then they realize they can mutate, so they can make AB prime. So AB prime is different to AB, and then AB prime can then act back where A and B were being created and slightly nudge that causal chain and make AB prime more um, evolvable or learn more. So that's the closing the loop part. Closing the loop part, got it. I, it feels like the mutation part is um, not that difficult. It feels like the difficult part is just creating a copy of yourself at step one. Mm -hmm. It seems... Uh, um, that seems like one of the greatest inventions in the history of the universe is the, the, the first molecule that figured out, holy shit, I can create a copy of myself.